of just looking. Oh, no, I like that one right there. Let's see here. Okay, this is a diamond in the rough. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to right click on this particular video and then I'm going to hit save as. Ads library is an awesome tool. It can help you find ads like this one and use it to grow your library, your portfolio of proven marketing campaigns. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to search ads, find videos, download videos, and then use them and uh, ethically knock them off to use them for yourself. Let's go. Okay, so the point of using ads library is not to steal other people's stuff. Let's just get that out of the way first and foremost, all right? However, it is a really good way to learn a niche, to find the uh, the angles, the offers, the ideas, and the things that people really respond to if you're creating lead generation campaigns, okay? So if that's you, if you're a person who is trying to build a portfolio of proven marketing campaigns, do lead gen for local businesses or you know whatever your niche is, this is a really good place to start. So we're gonna go ahead and start uh, with a couple of just the small things. You're gonna search based on your region, okay? And then you're gonna go here, toggle on to all ads, okay? And then you're gonna do your keyword advertiser. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you, you know, just a quick search, how to use a couple tools and filters to find performing campaigns, campaigns that obviously have some money behind them. Um, but this process is kind of iterative, so you wouldn't do it one time and you're done. You're gonna do a variety of different searches based on keywords. But for this, we're gonna go ahead and build on what we did in a previous uh, session. Uh, in fact, if you want to watch that, I will link that to this video. We did a watch me build uh, in real time where our users got to watch us use this tool in this process to identify and build marketing campaigns and then templatize them. So here we are in ads library and what you're seeing here is what you get when you search solar and you put no filters on. But we do want to make sure that we add some filters, okay? And we're going to go ahead and, and do uh, each one of them real quick. So as far as, far as uh, what you want to look for first, the language that you're going to be searching in, okay? And then second, we want to keep it all platforms and all advertisers. All advertisers, you can search by page. Like you can actually go and search by different pages. But we don't want to do that for now. We want to identify the media type. Now, this is where... In our last video that we post our Watch Me Build, um, my partner Jacob searched by image. Now, I personally like to search by video. And I'll tell you why here in just a minute, okay? But that's the, that's the next filter I put on. And then we wanna go to active and inactive. We wanna look at the active ads, okay? And then change the date uh, as far in terms of impressions, okay? So right now, what we're searching are all of these filters that have delivered impressions from May 7th to August 30th, 2022, which today is August 30th. Apply those filters, okay? And then we come up with a list of results of videos. Now, why do I like videos? I found personally in my own experience that a lot of marketers who use video put more time and effort and thought into what those videos should say and demonstrate. The big part when you're running ads is your videos, your images should demonstrate the solution that you're offering. So again, personally, it's my preference to, uh, to look through what other people are creating in terms of the videos that they make. Now, it's not a guaranteed surefire um, you know, method, but it does, I, I think it keys you into the people who are more creative in the space. And those are the usual, those are usually the people who win. All right. So let's jump back into this. The next thing I want to see is the start running date. Okay. So the start running date, you know, this one started running only about a week ago. So this really, I mean, I wouldn't say it might be awesome. I do like how they're calling out a specific state. When you're writing ad copy, that's really good is to be as specific as, uh, as specific as possible. Okay, so that's good. But I want to get myself into the category. I like that into the category of ads that I feel a little bit more comfortable with in terms of runtime. So you can see this one is July 29th, 2022. Well, that's a solid month now. Now I feel like we're really starting to get into some of the video types that 
maybe are, are, are probably getting uh, better results. So let's go ahead and watch this real quick. Okay, so this must be a, an additional service that you can add on to, and these guys are a roofing and solar company. Well, that's interesting. Okay, let's get more into the solar niche because that's what we're researching here today. This is all part of that process, by the way, of just looking. Oh, no, I like that one right there. Let's see here. Okay, this is a diamond in the rough. Okay, April 1st, 2022. Now we have months of seasoning on this campaign. Why do I, whoop, go back down here. Why do I like this one? A couple of things. One, it gives me a before and after. Okay, a before and after. Two, it shows the installation, which is, again, that demonstrative quality. Let's see what this one looks like. All this is is just like a very engaging. This is why I like to work with designers because they can come up with this cool kind of stuff. So here's what I would do. So first of all, I'm going to download this video here in just a second. But I want to walk you through what we're looking at here. Uh, did you know you can get 26% government incentives? Check to see if you qualify. So that is the hook right now. Okay, that is the hook they're, they're doing. First of all, it's a question. A question hook is always a great way to start ad copy. And then third of all, we're going towards saving money. So we stopped people scrolling and then we got them with this call to action of see if you qualify. So for me, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna right click on this particular video and then I'm gonna hit save as, all right? Now, when this pops up, it's gonna give me a big fancy number that identifies the actual image. And I don't care about that. What I care about is saving it in the proper format, dot MP4, and then hit save, okay? Now that video is going to download and show up on my desktop and become part of my swipe files that I will use later to send to um, my, my graphic designer. Because like I said, we don't want to plagiarize or copy this stuff. We want to swipe it and then model after it, okay? So that's a really good um, piece of piece of creative right there. Okay. Now the saving money, I would also copy this. Okay. And I'll save that onto a Google doc or something else and start to compile my list of copy. Let's see what this one looks like. Started running April 2nd, it's showing drone footage, which is engaging, showing the installation. Uh, I like it, but I prefer actually this. I feel like this is more engaging, meaning the point of this is to stop you, but the point of this is to make you uh, watch the video. And since the video is not saying anything, I feel like it loses some of its uh, meaning here. January 30th, 2022. Now that one has, now this one's definitely gonna be a good one to look at. Attention homeowners, Project Solar is cutting out the salesmen and the regional offices, enabling us to offer the same or better equipment for less. Now that is money offer right there. And then I'll go ahead and see what they put on here. Yeah, yeah, this is great. Like honestly, really just getting a person to hit save and then putting that on a loop. Solar without the sales guys. This is a winning creative. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and save this one as well. Okay, we're gonna go .mp4, okay. I'm gonna grab this ad copy because I really think it's awesome, okay? And then the next steps is to take those creatives and make them my own. I really like the hooks that I found, but now I need to go and I need to write my own ad copy and I need to create my own video. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you how I use AI tools to create ad copy with winning offers. I already know from, from this session, I already know what kind of offers are going to work. I need to reword them, add some more benefits to that copy so I can outcompete that particular um, ad copy and then bring my own spin into the actual creative. So on the next video, I'm gonna show you how to write ad copy, how to write headlines and hooks, and then how to template, templatize the whole process so you can deliver a lead generation campaign 
in just minutes.